Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you my favorite products for May. I have a really good mixture this month. Um, I'm going to jump right in and talk about each one. So the first is skincare, and it's the first product is by Nip and Fab, and it's the Glycolic Scrub Fix, and it's an exfoliant. Lily from Beauty with Lily uh, really raved about the Nip and Fab products, and I ran out of my cleanser, so I wanted to try something else. I grabbed these and the pads, the glycolic pads. So I've been using both of them. Um, I am going to review them, so keep a lookout for that on my blog. But I have used both of them for, you know, about a week now, and I really love this scrub. It has like a, a grapefruit scent, and, it, and it's a really good scrub. Some people who don't like abrasive scrubs might not like it, but I love stuff like that. You definitely can't use this every day, in my opinion. But it's a really good scrub. Your face feels really clean after, and I love the scent. Once again, this is Nip and Fab Skin, and it's the Glycolic Scrub. Next is a hair, or I guess a multi-purpose product. It's by Wen, and it's the 613 um, Ultra Nourishing Replenishing Treatment Mist. It's in the scent Lemon, Rosemary, and Vanilla Bean. My friend Ashley from Ash Sue Makeup sent me a bunch of things, and this was one of them. And um, the directions for this says mist face and body for instant rich moisture and hydration. Mist wet or dry hair to add softness, moisture, shine, and hydration. Also may be used to refresh and revive dry and styled hair. Uh, the ultra nourishing replenishing treatment mist takes hydration to the next level with our unique blend of amino acids, peptides, restorative extracts, and botanicals to give your hair, face, and body instant rejuvenation. So. I've been using this at night when I get out of the shower. I spray this in my wet hair and it smells so good. I love it and it just adds moisture or hydration to your hair um, and shine. And I've just been using this like every night and I, like I said, I love the scent and my hair does feel really nice and soft the next day. So this is a really good product. Once again, it's the Wen 613 Ultra Nourishing Replenishing Treatment Mist and this is in Lemon, Rosemary, and Vanilla Bean. Next is a palette. I've used a lot of different newer palettes this month. I use the Smashbox one. Uh, I've used the um, Studio Makeup one that was in a boxy charm, and I also have been using the Tartlet in Bloom. I didn't want to talk about all three of them in the video, so I just picked one. Um, so I decided to talk about the Tartlet in Bloom. I got this in I want to say April during one of the um, Sephora sales. So I've been using this a lot. My favorite colors to use, as you can see, are the lighter shades right here, these four lighter shades, and then Rebel. Um, this is just a really good everyday palette for simple eye looks. Um, it does have a lot of follow in the, in the uh, pan, or the palette, but it doesn't really on my face. I got a lot of compliments on this, and I really like it. For just like an everyday simple look, I don't think that it's anything like dramatic that you can cre create with this but I also haven't used a lot of the darker colors. But um, it's a pretty good palette just to have as like a basic eyeshadow palette. Once again, this is the Tartlet in Bloom uh, palette by Tarte. Next are more Tarte items. Though it's the Sephora Tarte uh, birthday gift. And these are the products. It's a mini or deluxe sample of the Tartus lip paint and the color is Birthday Suit. It's a matte, basically nude. I have it on right now. And the blush is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. So it's like a nice pinky mauve blush. I have that on as well. So anyways, I've been using these a lot. I think they're really good products. And this is the first Sephora gift that I've really liked for, you know, the birthday gifts. The color wise are both like spot on for me. Usually they have red lip products or pink lip products. And these are like more mauve or nude colors that I wear all the time. So these are this was like a really good birthday gift for me. I could even consider buying them in full size if I ever run out of them. I'll probably run out of the lip paint quicker than the blush. And it does make me uh interest me in this TARDIS lip paint. I haven't tried many of these, but I actually really like the formula, so I am going to check out other colors. Once again, this is the Sephora Tarte birthday gift uh, that you get during your birthday, and it's the TARDIS lip paint in Birthday Suit, and the Amazonian Clay Blush in Party.
Next are fashion items. The first is a watch that Colin got me for my birthday. Um, I've been wearing my Yord watch since I got it and I loved it, but it doesn't match everything. So I wanted to get one that was a different color. So I got just a basic, or I asked for just a basic gold watch. So this is by Michael Kors, and I don't have any other Michael Kors watches, so this was really exciting for me. And it's just like a very basic watch. Um, it's heavy, but it's a really good quality. Um, it's just gold, and it has, I don't know how close this can be without being blurry, but... So that's the watch. Nothing too over the top, but it's just a really simple watch that I can wear with everything. I'm really loving this, and I now want it in silver. But uh, this is one thing that I've been loving in the month of May. I, like I said, I got it for my birthday, so that's that. The other fashion item is something I also got for my birthday. My friend Kara got me um, some stuff for my birthday, and in the gift bag, she also included this. Um, believe it or not, this is a choker set from Five Below. She's like, you're not even going to believe where I got this. So it has like, it comes on this little thing right here, just like a plastic thing, and it was $5, like I said, from Five Below. And it comes with five chokers. So the first choker, for all of you guys that grew up in the 90s, it's this like tattoo choker thing that's like super stretchy. This is just like a throwback for me. I used to wear these in like junior high, so it's really cool to like see that this is kind of in style again. But it came with this one choker. It also came with a similar looking one, but this is like a felt black. So this is like, I've been wearing this a lot. It's really cute, really simple. It also comes with a gray like braided choker. So I'm just going to keep putting it up to my neck so you guys can get the idea. But it's like, just like a simple gray one. It has like a braided detail. So that's that. It also comes with a like leather or fake leather and it has black, white, gray, and gold on it. It's kind of a cool print. It's unique. So I'm not sure of what you guys can see on this, but that's that. It's like a unique one and I think it'll match a lot because it has black, gray, silver, and gold in it. Or black, gray, white, and gold rather. And then the last one is a cute little pendant one, and it has like a cute little uh, crystal or whatever on it. So like for $5 guys, I'm all about cheap jewelry because I have so much of it, so spending $5 on a pack of chokers I think is totally worth it. If you want a more fancy one, you can go to Bobble Bar and spend more, but these do the trick for what I want them for. Once again, this choker pack was $5 from 5 Below, so I highly suggest going there. And if you are all about affordable jewelry, stuff like that, go for it and go check it out. I have one flop this month, and I'm really sad about it because I know people love this product. Um, Lily, please don't be mad at me when you see this, but the Pacifica Dream Big Natural Minerals Mascara. I know she raves about it and I was hoping to love it as well. It just didn't work for me personally and my lashes. Um, this is supposed to lengthen and add volume to your lashes and you twist each side. And it just didn't give me enough of each. So it doesn't give me the, vol the length like the telescopic does. And then it doesn't give me the volume like other mascaras. And I feel like the more I layered it, the worse it looked. It got clumpy. And it just didn't look as nice on me as it does on her. I've tried this about three or four times. I don't know if there's something, Lily, that you suggest I do to try it in, again. It just, um, I've tried it a few times now and it just doesn't work for me, unfortunately. So I'm sad about that. But it just goes to show you that not every product is for every person. And it doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just not specifically for you. So those are all my favorite products this month. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, post it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.